Good morning, everybody. I'm glad to see you this morning. I hope you guys are ready for our reading and writing lesson for today. So I wanted to start this morning with um, an affirmation. And so I reached into our daily affirmations bucket. I brought this home from school. And so I had reached in and I had pulled out today's affirmation. And today's affirmation is, I can do hard things. Because this week, this is probably perfect for us, because this week we're going to probably be expected to do some hard things on the computer um, that we aren't used to doing. So we're going to be learning and making our brains bigger and learning new things. And so repeat after me. I can do hard things. Good job. Also this morning, I wanted to start with some um, mindfulness, and so our mindful breathing. Um, and so today I chose hot cocoa. I know this is some of y'all's favorites. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get our mug of hot cocoa and wrap your hands around it. And I want you to breathe in, and I want you to see if you can smell the delicious hot chocolate. Here we go. And now you're going to slowly breathe off the steam. From your hot chocolate. We're going to do that one more time. Ready? Mm, that relaxed me and got me ready for our lesson today. All right, my friends. So I'm going to pull up Mayan, and that is where a lot of our reading will be happening. And so today's Mayan lesson is going to be called Bugs Race. All right, here we go. Bug Race by Karai Meister, illustrated by Barack Center. Calling all beetles, calling all flies, let's get ready to exercise. And this says Bug Race, it looks like he's the guy that's announcing everything. Hmm. Welcome all kinds, welcome all sorts. Welcome any bug in shorts. Ready, set, go. There they go. The honeybee is fast. The silkworm is slow. Watch out, everyone. It's quite a show. The ladybug lost its wing. Ooh. The cricket stopped to sing. Oh no. The firefly took a break to dance. The stink bug lost his fancy pants. He lost his pants. <laughs> oh no, the poor ladybug. It looks like the nurses are taking her away to help fix her up. And look, this must be the cricket because I see him dancing. Wow. Oh no, it says firefly. Oh, the firefly stopped to dance and the cricket stopped to sing. So this is the cricket, I see. Sometimes you have to stop, look and think about the illustrations because they help you get more information from the text. The damselfly stopped to cry. The June bug ate some yummy pie. The earthworm could not see. He bumped into the bumblebee. Oh no, he should have been watching where he was going. The earwig stopped to lay some eggs. The millipede tripped and lost three legs. The mosquito stung the ref. The gypsy moth flew too far left. Oh my. And look, I can see this must be the ref, the referee. He has his flag and I see that the mosquito is right next to him. <gasps> And look, he's got a little bump right there on his arm. Oh, poor referee. The caterpillar got stuck in the mud. The tick stopped to drink some blood. The cicada was too busy whining. The termite was too busy dining. Hmm. So it says the caterpillar got stuck in the mud. So this must be the caterpillar. The tick stopped to drink some blood. So this must be the tick. This actually gave us some real nonfiction information because I do know that ticks drink blood. And so there he is. And the cicada was too busy whining and the termite was too busy dining. What does it mean when he was dining? 
what does this picture show you right here? The illustrator gave us some clues about what dining could mean. Did you figure it out? It looks like if I am zooming in, let's see if I can zoom in on that termite. Look, he's got something in his mouth and he has, that looks like, like wood. Termites eat wood. So dining must mean that the termite stopped to eat some wood. Wow. Let's keep going. Who's left? cried the judges. Who's left in the race? Which of the bugs will get first place? Who do you think? Who do you think is going to win the bug race? Make your prediction. Go ahead and tell me. Hmm. Let's find out if you are right. The cockroach is looking fine. Perhaps he'll cross the finish line. Oh man, I do know cockroaches run very fast. Let's see. But wait, what do we spy? The dragonfly is whizzing by. Goodness gracious, it's a tie. Oh my goodness. It was a tie. Did you guys guess that it was going to be a tie? I didn't. <laughs> All right, my friends. And so when you get to that, we're going to click, I have finished this book. When you go onto Mayan and you click, I have finished this book, when I go into my Mayan, I can see how many books you finish. All right, so make sure you always click, I have finished this book. Nice job. All right, so let's go back. Hi. And so now we're going to talk about some questions from this story, okay? And so I know that I can't hear you, but I still want you to answer them out loud just like you were with me, okay? All right, so my first question I have, what types of bugs were there that joined the race? What kind of bugs did you see in that book? Let's stop, think, and choose our answer. Hmm. What bugs did you hear? Or what bugs were in this text? Did you say a bumblebee? How about that stink bug? Yuck. Or the earthworm? <gasps> Who won the bugs race? There were two characters that won the bugs race. Which characters won the bugs race? If you said cockroach and dragonfly, kiss your brain. Nice work. All right, my friends. I want you to also think about that. What happened to that stink bug? He lost his pants. Oh my goodness. He must have been running so fast that he flew right out of his shorts. My goodness. What problems did some of the bugs have? Do you remember what the problems, what some of them were? I remember that the cricket stopped to sing and the ladybug lost her wing. And I also remember that the termite, hmm, he stopped and he did something. Who remembers what the termite stopped to do? He stopped to eat, that's right. Nice job, guys. All right, here's what we're going to do next. I know that was a really short reading lesson. Um, as we get better and better at this, the lessons will become um, a little bit longer and a little more um, detailed. But right now, what I'm going to do is I am going to do my modeled writing for today. And today's assignment for writing is going to be sketch, um, and write about what is happening in your life right now. What's something that is happening? Um, you can either write about what you enjoyed doing this morning or what you enjoyed doing today. You can write about what you're thankful for. You can write about maybe something exciting that you get to look forward to that's coming up. All right, my friends. So it's kind of like free write, but I wanna hear something that's happening in your life, okay? All right, so let me go ahead. I'm going to switch over. Give me one second. And I'm going to, oh, that's one thing I wanted to tell you. I'm going to be coming by after this lesson 
to drop off um, some bags and it has your math books and your science book and some extra workbooks and also some reading comprehension packets um, that I will be using for these lessons, okay? So don't do anything with them just yet, but keep them in a safe place because I will be telling you um, what books that you're gonna need and what pages you're gonna need for the next few weeks, okay? So make sure you keep those in a safe place. I've also included a fresh box of crayons, a mechanical pencil in case you don't have a pencil sharpener at home, and also some um, germ fighting supplies to help keep you and your family safe. And I also will include a little note on the bag too. All right, my friends. Okay, so hang tight. Let me share the screen with you so that you can see what I see on my phone. All right, give me one second. Sorry about that, friends. Here we go. Now I got it. Okay, screen mirroring. Hmm. Let's try it again. <laughs> Sorry, technical difficulties, my friends. I am still learning this process. All right, let's try this again. don't see it my friends well we are going to try it a different way <laughs> we have to try to be flexible don't we all right so I'm going to I'm gonna show you you guys are going to be getting let me cancel that yeah you guys are gonna be getting this comprehension notebook okay and so today you're gonna sketch and label now you, I'm gonna show you um, a model lesson that I have done with um, this morning's live group, okay? And so I'm gonna get close so you can see and I'll try to be really still, okay? So I put at the top my name and the date, and then I wrote today, I will be delivering your books and materials to your front door. Now remember, we're using our hunks and chunks and our letter sounds to write, so you may not have the correct spelling and that's okay. So parents, if you're helping your child with writing, please know that we are working on phonetic writing and so we are sounding out those words and as we learn more and more of our phonics rules, our writing will um, get better and better and be more appropriately spelled. Okay, so you'll notice some of my words on here are not spelled correctly, and some are because we have learned some of our hunks and chunks, okay? And also, if you go on to YouTube um, and you search for Jenny Dowd, Jenny with a G, she has a hunks and chunks video. I will be posting links onto Edsby of that video too. These um, help us with some of our phonics rules, okay? So you'll wanna um, go ahead and write your journal entry and then you will sketch a picture at the bottom and if you want, you can illustrate it with the crayons that I bring you today, okay? All right, my friends, hopefully I can get our, um, our document camera up and running for our next lesson. Each day, I promise I'll get better and better, but I hope you have a wonderful day. I wish you well. I love you. I'll miss you. And I hope to see you either later on today when I drop off your packages or tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.